Hi, in this video, I will show you how to fill employment visa application form for Poland location. Hi, welcome to Teach Me K channel. If you are watching my video for the first time, please do subscribe to my channel to stay updated with my videos. Also, don't forget to like and share this video. Let's get started. Hi. So what you are seeing on my screen is the application for national visa for Poland location. So in this considering me as a primary applicant where my employer is sending to Poland location on a work permit basis. So this is the application form that you need to submit for visa application. So how do you get this application form? I will paste a link in my video in the description section. So in this video, I will show you how to fill each of these fields that are there in this application form. I will drive you through each of the questionnaires that are there in this application form. For your easier understanding or viewing, whatever fields I had filled up, I have highlighted them in red colored fonts. So you should be able to just update your data in the red colored fonts. I hope this video would be helpful to you. So let's get started. So before starting to fill up this application form, I suggest that you keep your passport handy because it is required to fill up some of these fields here. So let's start from the first question, which is surname and also it is a family name. So please mention your last name as mentioned in your passport and going to the second question, which is surname at birth. So here to mention your last name as mentioned in your passport. So going to the third question, which is the first name or also the given name. So here mention your first name as it is in the passport and going to the fourth question date of birth so please mention it in the form of dd hyphen mm hyphen y y y y and going to the fifth question mention your place comma state or how it is mentioned in your passport please mention it the same way and the sixth question you could mention your country name so and going to the seventh question mention your nationality i have mentioned here my nationality is indian and if there is applicability that you are different from the current nationality please mention that nationality here under the uh, question number seventh if it is not applicable please mention it as not applicable and going to the eighth question, mention your gender here. You could mark them in the same fashion that I have marked up here. And going to the ninth question of your marital status. If you are single, please mark that as single. So if you are married, please mark that as married and choose the relevant options as per your selection here. And going to the 10th question, so this is specifically for minors when you are the primary applicant going on an employment uh, visa application. So then you could mention in the 10th question as not applicable and going to the 11th question where it seeks for national identity number. So you could mention here as not applicable. So going to the 12th question where it is seeking for type of travel document. So you could choose your type of passport here. So for me, I have selected here as ordinary passport and going to 13th question series and number of travel document. So please mention your passport number here and going to the 14th question, which is date of issue of your passport. Please mention it in the format of DD hyphen MM hyphen YYYY. And in the 15th question, 
what is the validity of your passport please mention it in the format of dd hyphen mm hyphen y y y y and going to the 16th question it is actually hidden up here so please mention the issue of the place where your passport has been issued the place name where your passport has been issued that has to be written in the 16th question so now going to the 17th question so this should be the applicant's home address and email address so please mention your address as it is in the passport and you could also mention your email id it could be either the official email id or even the personal email id as well and in the next box you could fill up your phone number so going to the 18th question so it is seeking for if the residents in a country other than the country of current nationality so if it is different please select yes and mention your uh, number and valid until so if your current nationality is no different so then please mention it as no so going to 19th question which is asking for current occupation so here i have mentioned the role as it is mentioned in my work permit so as per the role that i would be assigned for when i go to poland location as per my employer so going to the 20th question which is asking for name address and telephone number of the employer so this should be the name address and telephone number of your current employer while in india so please mention the employer address and employer email and phone number in the 20th question so now going to 21st question so main purpose of the journey so while i am applying it on employment purposes so it is based on my work permit so i need to select here as other and you could specify it as work permit as the way i have mentioned here and 20th question it is already filled you need not fill up anything here so going to 20th second question 23rd question member state of the first entry so you could mention which city of poland you would be first entering when you start from india so it is like i would be my first entry would be warsaw so that is why i have mentioned here as warsaw comma poland so going to 24th question which is number of entries requested so please select here as multiple entries and going to 25th question where the duration of the intended stay of the transit so you need to mention here the number of days that you would want to stay so considering my employer work permit so here i am selecting as 365 days and going to the next questions 26th 27th and 28th if these are like if you would have already been in any of the schengen countries earlier you could mention the dates by selecting yes as from the check boxes so while if you have not been any of the schengen countries earlier in the last 5 years then you could mark them as no in the question 26 and 27 and so now going to 29th question where it is asking for intended date of arrival to the republic of poland so please mention here your start or your entry date into poland so which should be in the format of dd hyphen mmm hyphen y y y y and uh, considering uh, question number 30 it should be the 365 days because you have already mentioned in the question number 25 as 365 days so please mention that date of departure from republic of poland considering 365 days and going to 31st question so it says surname and first name of the inviting person in the republic of poland and if not applicable name of the hotel or temporary accommodation in the republic of poland so here 
I had a hotel booked up there so I have written the accommodation of the hotel so I have written the hotel name here in the question number 31 if you have any other kind of accommodation like if you are uh, have any rooms or friends there if you want to have the accommodation there you could have their rental agreement the address where you are uh, getting accommodation and going to the sub question of 31 where it is asking for address and email address of the inviting person or hotel or temporary accommodation so here while i had booked up a hotel so i have written up here the hotel address so similarly if you have any other accommodation you could mention the accommodation address in poland and another sub question of 31 so which seeks for telephone and telefax so please mention the phone number of your accommodation in Poland so going to the 32nd question which is asking for name and address of inviting company or organization so this should be your inviting employer name and the address of your inviting employer of Poland location and going to the sub question of 32 which where you should mention the telephone and telefax of the company or organization so please mention here your inviting employer phone number of Poland location again and going to the sub question of 32 here again so which asks for surname first name business address business phone number telefax and business email address of the contact person in the company or organization so this should be the inviting person's name in the inviting employer where it is in poland so please mention here your inviting person in format of last name comma first name so which is your inviting company or inviting employer in poland so similarly you need to mention their address and phone number and email address of the inviting person so now going to 33rd question which where it is asking for cost of traveling and living during the applicant stay is covered so here since my current employer in india they are sponsoring so I am choosing all the options here in the second column so I have highlighted them in dark one is by a sponsor host company or organization so this is how you need to highlight that and the sub answer or option for that is referred to in field 31 or 32 that's the option that I have chosen here and since all the expenses would be taken care by my current employer in India so I have marked up all expenses covered during the stay so this is how you need to fill up for 33rd question so now going to the next question so 34 35 36 so these are basically the questionnaires where they are in uh, EU and or any Schengen areas so while these are not applicable for me I had marked them as NA, NA, NA in all those fields from 34, 35 and 36 questionnaires so if it is applicable for you you could mention the details as for the questionnaires here and uh, I will go to the next question which is 37 so here you should mention the place name where you are submitting your visa application form and similarly you should mention the date of your visa application submission okay and in the 38th question you need to sign up in the field or the space that is provided there and going to the last field where it is again asking for place and date so here too you need to mention the place name where you are submitting your visa application form along with the date in the format that i have mentioned here this is how the application form is filled up for a primary applicant 
where he is applying he or she is applying on an employment visa application for Poland location I hope this video is helpful to you this video was prepared based on my experience where I had applied for Poland visa application thank you for watching stay tuned for more videos like this thank you bye bye